What's going on out there, YouTubers? Cybernex Shark here with another new unboxing video for you. So let's get right into this unboxing and see what it's about. Welcome to another awesome unboxing video, my YouTube peeps. Anyways, so this is, like I said, another unboxing video. And I recently found a super awesome deal on Amazon for an awesome, awesome film that I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray. Uh, Screen Factory just released an awesome collector edition with an awesome slip cover. And they actually had it on Amazon for $12.99. I couldn't believe it. It's already gone back up. But unfortunately, if you got it within that time frame, you could get it for that $12.99. And I... Thankfully, I was able to do that because this movie is just an awesome and amazing film. I absolutely love it. Uh, just a really killer film. And that is the awesome Stephen King based on his book film, Misery. Oh, yeah. Misery. Ooh. So if you're not familiar with what Misery is basically about... Basically, it's about a writer who gets stranded, basically, gets in a car accident, and is saved by this woman who is, a, like, like a super fan. And, basically, she's, like, really psychotic and, like, basically tr keeps him trapped there by forcing him to write a new book and make it better than the one he's working on. And it's just one of those really cool, like, survival-type film, horror films. Uh, just really well done, well, well directed by the awesome Rob Reiner. Uh, just a really awesome film. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what's inside. So let me get Mr. Trusty, Mr. Knife. Let's open this bad boy up. Which was really cool is it's awesome that actually that they had the slip covers on it through Amazon. Sometimes you don't come with a slip cover, so I was really ecstatic that this one actually came with a slip cover. Even some people I noticed on Facebook said, it comes with a slip cover, it comes with a slip cover. So I was like, I gotta grab on that. So we got it open. And as you can see there, this the cover is really awesome. I really like it. Um, the Annie Wilkes character holding this head um, sledgehammer. Really nice. It says Collector's Edition up there, along with James Caan and Kathy Bates. You know, based on the book by Stephen King, screenplay by William Goldman, and directed by Rob Ryder. And then, of course, on the bottom it says Paul Sheldon used to write for a living. Now he's writing to stay alive, which is really cool. And so then you got on the sides of the slip here, you got Misery, and then a little picture of Annie Wilkes up here again. And then, of course, MGM and Screen Factory Blu-ray down here. Same thing on the other side. And, of course, the back shows you a scene from the film, along with symposium, special features, and all that good stuff. Really nice slip. So let's take that off and see what's in the cover here. Oh. Same, same cover for the actual cover of the slip. Same back as well. And same awesome spine as you like to call it spine how do you say it in spanish spanino i i don't know i think that'd be funny you know spanino but anyways the spine's the same as like on the slip so let's open this bad boy up oh it's actually got a reversible a cover too i did not notice that if you pull it out you can either have it on that one like most or you can have it on like the original poster Ooh, i like that that's really cool I love this original movie poster look. I thought that was one of the best movie posters around during the time when this came out. Just a really, really well-constructed, you know, thing. It's got, like, the words and writing up in, like, the smoke and clouds up here and stuff I thought was really cool. So I'll definitely to keep it on that side. That's cooler, I think, than... Because, you know, having it as a slip cover and the actual cover, sometimes that's kind of like, eh... I want to change it up so that if I pull it off, it's cooler looking underneath, or I like to see a little something different when I open, get to the actual case, you know? So I think that's cool. So it's awesome. We have artwork on the awesome Blu-ray disc itself. That's really sweet. It's like a typewriter, and then it says Misery on it. That's really awesome. <laughs> a royal typewriter. Those are really good typewriters, by the way. If you ever are into typing with a typewriter, those are the ones to go with. Royals, they're amazing. But the artwork is really awesome. looks really nice. Fortunately, there's no digital HD with this, which sucks sometimes. But, you know, unless you're big into the HDs, it's no big deal. You know what I mean? But 
Still, that cover is flawless. I love it. It's so awesome looking. Even the spine's really nice, too, on this other alternate side. But the back is the same as, as the other one, which is fine. Because I that part, I didn't care if it was different. It was definitely this part, which is makes it a lot nicer. But as you can see, this has a whole bunch of awesome new special features for this collector's edition release. Uh... As you know, this movie came out in 1990, so I mean, this movie is going to be 28 years old this year, which is really awesome. So almost 30 years ago this came out. Uh, but yeah, the awesome new special features on this are, and include, a new 4K restoration transfer from the original film elements. You got a new interview with writer-director Rob Reiner. You have a new interview with special effects makeup artist uh, Greg Nicotero. You have odd in commentary with Rob Reiner. Uh, you have odd in commentary with screenwriter William Goldman. You have Misery Loves Companion featurette. Mark Shaman's musical Misery Tour uh, featurette. Then you have Diagnosis Annie Wilkes featurette. Uh, Advice for the Stalked featurette. Profile of a Stalker featurette. Celebrity Stalkers featurette. And then anti-stalking laws featurettes. And then, of course, trailers. Lots of great special features. No deleted scenes. That kind of sucks. But still, at the same time, it's got a lot of great other special features. I love it when it has either a gag reel or deleted scenes. It's always fun to see what they cut out. And, you know, to see how much of a difference that scene would make in a film. I always find those so fun. They're always fun and they're interesting and make the film more entertaining. That's why I love it when they put out director cuts or extended cuts because they just make so much more sense sometimes because they cut out such a crucial part of the film in which I feel that the extended cut of Batman versus Superman is so much better than the the theatrical version because there's so much more that they explain in it and it's more understandable you know so that's that's the only thing that sucks when they edit it sometimes for the theaters or the movies and stuff like that it sometimes gets edited to a stupid version but sometimes it can be a better version Sometimes it is a better version when they edit it, but most of the time I find that it's better when it's the uh, the actual director's cut I find so much better. But, you know, this has the awesome James Conn in it, Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates actually was nominated for an Oscar for this film because she was just so amazing. Uh, I, she actually won the Oscar for this role. And she just, she totally deserved it. She was so amazing in this film. She was so evil and so awesome. Uh, just a really well done film. I mean, this has some of the best like horror scenes in it, I feel. The scene where she goes to break his legs again so that he can't get out of there, it's just one of the most intense scenes ever. I absolutely enjoy that that scene because it's just, it's so, they did such a great job of making it so realistic. And also at the same time, you're just like, this woman is really psychotic, you're like. But yeah, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Such a worthwhile watch. Such an amazing film. The book is really good, too, as well. I really enjoyed the book, as too. Um, because Stephen King's just an amazing writer. One of the best. One of the best. Uh, I, you know, Screen Factory keeps putting out these awesome collector's editions, which I love. Um, They've come out with some of the best I've seen in a long time. and uh, But this is definitely one of the Screen Factories to pick up. Really worth it, people. Especially if you can get it for such a good deal. Uh, really intense film. Really great movie. Uh, probably one of the best Stephen King adapted films. Uh, just a really well done film. Uh, Rob Reiner kicked the butt out of this film too, directing it. Uh, just really awesome. Really enjoyed it. But that's pretty much all that comes with it. That's what's on it. I thought it was really elegantly and very well made. Another great, like I said, release by Screen Factory. Uh, you know, huge shout out to Screen Factory for releasing this and giving us such an awesome and amazing new. Uh, collector's edition. Can't wait to watch all the special features on this too. It's gonna be interesting, most definitely. So that's it for this awesome unboxing video, folks. As always, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. As always, if this is your first time here and you, or you've been here before and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss one of these awesome reviews or any of my awesome videos I put out. And as always, keep your eyes out for any older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. As always. If you're a huge horror fan, check out that awesome link down below about the awesome horror pack where you get Blu-rays or DVDs of awesome horror films right to your door for a low awesome price. And also, each box comes with an awesome limited edition that you can't get anywhere else. That's right, limited editions, people. Especially if you're a collector's fan, why would you want to miss out on that? Especially if you're a big fan of like Loot Crate 
or any of those types of things, this is this is an awesome horror box to go with, people. Totally worth it. Such an amazing, amazing service. And as always, if you're interested in signing up for that, or if you are going to sign up for it, let me know down in the comments so I can hook you up with a discount on your first month. And as always, catch you in the next one.